Hi, everybody, and uh, welcome to our special interview today on Canar TV, the Arab voice from Canada. My name is Jamal Al Sharif, and I'm talking from Ottawa, the capital of this great country. Over, our guest today is from far away. She's from China, and she chose to teach others her language, the Chinese language. As a person who speaks uh, Chinese, and uh, I know how hard it is to learn Chinese, uh, I was fascinating with her way of teaching and the way she makes it simple and easy. She wasn't only teaching Chinese on TikTok, but also promoting her culture and the beauty of it. So let's welcome our dear friend, uh, Audrey from China. Welcome, Hello. Audrey. How are you today? Thank you, I'm fine. How about you today? Great. So, Audrey, okay. please introduce yourself to our audience. Uh, which city you are from? Uh, what are you doing? Okay. Are you a Chinese teacher? Okay. Hi, everyone. I'm O.G. Lee, a Chinese teacher. 我们的直播间,谢谢大家。今天呢,我在这里给大家讲一下我为什么成为一个中文老师,而且呢,想要教大家在这里学中文,好吗?Hello everyone, my name is Audrey Lee. Now, I teach Chinese on TikTok and YouTube for, yeah, be free, for free, for uh, half one year. When I was a child, every time my teacher asked me, what do you want to be in the future? This question is asked by every child, right? Now, sure. yeah, I, uh, I answered my teacher, I want to be a teacher in the future. So now I, I to be a teacher, I am a teacher now. Yeah, okay. I have to be a teacher for 10 years. I have some foreign friends. They are interested in English very much. So they okay. asked me, yeah, they asked me to teach them in, uh, to, to teach them Chinese. So I made some videos for them. I realized, oh, I can upload these video videos on TikTok on YouTube because I, I learned there are few or expensive ways to learn Chinese. And and I learned that uh, okay in foreign I learned few people, few or expensive ways to learn Chinese in foreign countries, and some and some teaching books are very backwards. So I can uh, in, therefore I can promote few public and welfare courses for everyone. Yeah, I can do it because mm -hmm. I am good at it. Okay, Great. so, so do you mm, teach so, uh, children now? Oh, do what? Teach, okay, can you, you repeat? Teach, do you teach children or adults Chinese? Oh, uh, yeah, At I school. teach Chinese and English in China. Now, I have many students. The students are kids or adults? Yeah, adults and kids. Okay, perfect. So okay. Which city you are from? Which city in China? I'm from, yeah, I'm from Shenzhen, China. Okay, Shenzhen is a big city. Do you know? Yeah, for sure. The technology, the technology city. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so who doesn't? Who just just quick introduction about Shenzhen. It's the city, uh, very border with Hong Kong, and uh, yeah. it is the capital of technology. They said there is no one PC on this earth did not have a part from Shenzhen. So almost there is a lot of technology and. Audrey used this technology to help her to get audience. Audrey, what's, yeah. why did it come to your mind to use TikTok? Uh, I, I call you the queen of TikTok, by the way. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Yeah, because my friends always use TikTok and YouTube. They tell me this, this, uh, this APP is very very popular so i use it so i meet so many foreign friends here okay yeah. that's that's good so uh 
for how long you've been on TikTok? Yeah, I have. Years? Yeah, I have teach Chinese on TikTok for half one year. One and a half years. Okay. Yeah. What, uh, you know, I know I ch I study Chinese and learning Chinese is very very difficult because you need to learn <laughs> the language and the culture. Okay. Uh, okay, I example, know. Number four uh, is not very loved in China because yeah, four times. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so, do you teach culture also? Uh, yes. Okay, I teach Chinese Mandarin and Chinese and then Chinese alphabets together. Okay, so you can you can learn Chinese early and easily. Okay. I, I love your methods, Audrey. Like you use very simple way to teach Chinese. Everybody thinking about Chinese is the most difficult language. It's very hard to learn. And there's too many, <laughs> especially the characters. It's it's very complicated. How did you get with this method? Where did it come from? Did you see anybody do it or it's your own method? Okay. Uh... Okay, I know Chinese a little difficult. Okay, some someone says Chinese is the most difficult language in the world. <laughs> Maybe it's, uh, but I have some funny learning ways to learn it. For example, okay, we often drink coffee. Yeah, so in Chinese we can say it, coffee. Yeah, it's similar, so it's mm -hmm. easy to get it right. Mm -hmm. And I love your way. So for yeah. Chinese people, <laughs> this is this is the mouth call. Yes. So if, okay. If you look, they always like other maybe will say drink like this, but the Chinese always do this. So you will understand this is the culture. Because oh, I say you you know you means the four towns, right? Yeah. Okay, for coffee. Right? Okay. Well, we have four tongues. Ka, a, ka, fu, e, fi. Yeah. Okay. The first tongue, the second tongue, right? Tell us about the tones. Like, I'm your student today. Tell me more about the tones. This is the most difficult okay. for foreigners. The first, the second, the third, and the fourth. So, please. Yes. Okay. The first, okay. Follow, follow me. Ah, uh, it's the first uh, tongue, right? Yes, you get it. Good job. Okay, the second time, ah, 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 it, ah. yeah, surprise, surprise, like this, mm -hmm. ah. Okay, the third time, ah, 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 ah. understand? Ah. Yeah, down and up. Yeah, ah, it's the third time. The third, the, okay, the first time, ah, ah. Oh. Yeah, so, so the first times. Let's take the word e. If it's with the first tone, what does it mean? E. If it's the second, E. 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 Give me Wow, example. great. You get it. <laughs> so what's the difference between these four words? Okay. Ah, 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 ah. It means we have, uh, we have many expressions to express. For example, uh, it means... Mm, Oh, okay. If somebody, if somebody ask me question, but I have, I have no time to answer him. Huh? Ah? We, I, we, we always use the second tongue. It means I can't get your question. Huh? Like this. Understand? Okay. Okay. We use the third tongue, for example. Mm, if I get your question and I think you are right. Hmm. Mm. Mm. Uh, it means I get your question and I think you are right. Okay, the first tense, ah, uh, ah, uh, okay, I'm ah, uh, okay, the first, the first tense, it means, okay, you give me questions, but I don't agree with you. Ah, uh, it means I don't want to refuse you, refuse you, but I I'm not, <laughs> I don't want to speak out. So we use uh, the first tense. Audrey, you are a very yeah. good teacher. You already have a good uh, audience on TikTok. 
Uh, you are the you. Queen, queen of the TikTok. Why you don't charge money? Why you do it for free? <clears throat> mm, because there are few or expensive ways to learn Chinese in foreign countries. And I know the, okay, the Chinese, the Chinese books are backwards in the foreign countries. They have so few ways to learn it. So I want to more people to learn it. So it's free because some rich people can uh, invite the teacher to their home, but in uh, poor people, okay, in poor people's family, they can't do it. So it's free. So are you proud of your language? Do you think it's a very important language to learn? Mm, yes, I know. I I get. I think you're you're right. Okay, Chinese. Okay, China is more and more. Yeah, more and more. Uh, great. In the future, I think Chinese is used by widely in the world. Chinese, you mean Chinese language? <clears throat> okay. So, Audrey, you live in Guangdong province and it's known that you speak uh, other language it's Cantonese oh, okay uh, I know you speak Mandarin so are you willing to teach Cantonese too no I can't see Guangdong language okay okay so you're going yeah. to speak Mandarin yeah my my hometown mm. is in Shanxi province there Shanxi. are so many provinces in China and so many, so many local languages in China. So we we use Chinese Mandarin in China in public. Good. So can you teach us now the numbers from one to ten? Okay, yeah. it's to easy one, to get two, it. Three, okay. Yep. Let's go. Okay. Okay. One. It means e e. e okay. E, two. E. It means in China. Okay. Two r. R, okay, it's san, three, san, san, okay, four, si, si, yes, you get it, okay, wu, it means five, wu, 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 okay, six, it means liu, liu, okay, seven, it's qi, qi, yeah, okay, ba, it means eight, ba, ba, okay, nine, jiu, Jiao Shi, it means ten, ten. And okay, these numbers in China has many, many meanings. For example, eight it means you will be rich. Okay, ba 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 it means you will be rich in the future. Ba ba ba. Yes, if I send a message, ba 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 eight eight eight, it means you will be rich, you will be <laughs> rich more and more in the future. That's yeah, why rich, if I, rich, okay. rich people have phone number with ba ba ba. Yes, we always right. like 888 ba ba ba. <laughs> okay. So, uh, Audrey, uh, you, okay. you work with your hands to teach us two. So, you said one, two, three. Every foreigner knows that. Four, okay. five. Then yes. we start to see something different, like Leo. Chi, yes. Uh, your, <laughs> wow, your, good job. You get it. Yes. Yeah. We what, use what, a what finger. It? Yeah, finger oh. factors to experience. But we write it as you. The same. One, e, r, san. It's the same writing. Show us. Okay. Okay. E, r, san. 四,五,六,七,八,九,十,it's the same writing. Okay, so Leo is this, yes? Yes, it's Leo, six, okay. Six. <laughs> it means Seven. you will be, yeah, okay, see in the future, Liu, 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 everything gets well, everything gets well in the future, Liu, Liu, Liu. So eight, 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 you will be rich. Leo, Leo, yeah, six, you will be rich. Six, 
and in six six good. days you will be yeah okay everything will be okay in the future yeah when when I ask yeah when I ask my students do you get it if you get it this number okay you can call you can tap six 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 on my live <laughs> okay. okay yeah six 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 it means everything will be okay liu 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 good what about seven okay seven it means chi. okay okay I, when i ask you have you eaten have you eaten it means it equals eat you can say it means i have eaten <laughs> okay yeah yeah five seven one it express i have eaten <laughs> i know five one zero what i mean i love you yes? yeah good job you get it mm -hmm. yes five two oh or five two one it means i love you uh, in chinese yeah so learning only the 10 words which is one two three to ten ten numbers can teach you yeah. a lot of things yeah yes okay this is chinese languages and chinese culture so it's funny to learn chinese good and this is the way uh, audrey use it's to make it simple and easy to learn uh, chinese because if yeah. you look at any language as a difficult uh, language you will not learn it but if you go with a teacher who can make it simple who can make it easy like Audrey, it will be pleasure to learn it. It will be, a, a, you will wait for her new TikTok or new videos to come <laughs> and learn more. And that's what I'm doing. I, I know Chinese, I speak Chinese, but I follow her because her method is very good. By the way, I ask everybody to go to TikTok now and try to follow Audrey on TikTok and YouTube and maybe learn something from her she's doing she's doing this for for free so that's great but also yeah thank uh, you you can thank her audrey what is uh, the next step where do you think you are going what what do you want to do do you want to maybe make an online course for students maybe to make it more official that people can get a certificate what do you where do you think you're going Okay, if more people want to learn Chinese, okay, I can make the Chinese uh, videos more and yeah, do some Chinese courses. Okay, now, yeah, yesterday I give my students the few, the free course, okay, on the, in, in the live. They get it, okay. So you're doing lives too? Yeah. Okay, so... <clears throat> You know Tashan? What? Tashan. Tashan. Right? You know him? Okay. You I, know I him? don't know. <laughs> you don't know Dashan? I don't know. Yeah. My, the Canadian guy who speaks Chinese. Okay. Okay, I know, I know. Okay, a foreign, a foreign, yeah, a foreign man, but he is very popular in China. Okay, yeah. I, I think <laughs> about him, yeah. His name is Mike Roswell. Uh, Mike is a good friend. They've been in, he's in Ottawa and uh, I talked to him many times. And when, when he told me his love to the Chinese language, uh, I understood from him how he loved this culture and he loves this uh, language. So Dashan or Mike is very popular in China because he learns yes. Chinese. Yes, he's, he's very he's, popular, okay. Everybody Chinese. knows him. Uh, he's, he's, uh, he's the king of Chinese language, and Audrey is the queen of that language. Thank you, thank you. Okay, well, I'm so pleasure well, to talk with you. Uh, mine too. So I will end by calling you Tahai, the big C of the Chinese language. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. So it's a pleasure to talk to you, Audrey. I give you the last minute if you would like to give any advice to our students to learn Chinese. 
Thank you. Thank you so much. What is your advice to learn Chinese? Okay. When you learn Chinese, don't be, yeah, don't be shy. You should open your mouth and do more exercise. So you will get it. Okay. Yeah, I know Chinese is a little difficult, but use the funny and easy way to get it. You can in East it. Okay, for more times. Thank you, Audrey. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your uh, efforts, uh, helping students overseas to learn this beautiful language. Uh, it's always a pleasure to talk to people like you, to learn more about your culture, your way of teaching. Again, I wish you all the best, and I hope everybody from our audience can follow you on TikTok to learn more about the Chinese language. Thank you, thank you so much. Okay, I'm glad to see you here. Thank you. It was our interview with the queen of the Chinese language on TikTok, uh, Audrey. If you would like to follow her, please do today and start learning Chinese. I would like to thank our audience and wish you all the best. Have a nice evening and good night. Thank you. Welcome to my life and welcome to China. Love you.